Yo guys, it's Mr. Exploit, and in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to download, install, and execute scripts on Roblox using the free to use key system based executor called Valex. So, you want to get started by clicking the link in the description below or the pinned comment. It will take you over to the official Valex website, which at the time of recording currently looks like this. So, Valex, I got very mixed opinions about this executor. It's definitely not the best, it's certainly not the worst executor out there right now. And to be honest, you can't really complain if something's being provided for free you know you don't have to pay anything to access this and we're going to click download they also have documentation and a really active discord server really nice website overall but anyways click on download and there's going to be two versions there's the executor the script executor which is what i'm going to be using in today's video and there's an external which i will do a video on at some point in the near future so for those of you that enjoy using externals you can go ahead and select that but we're going to be executing scripts today we want to actually use a script executor so we're going to select executor version click download and if the download gets blocked if it says dangerous download then the first thing you need to do is click on these three little dots right here in the top right hand corner on chrome head over to settings this should be the same for most browsers as well you should find similar settings head over to privacy and security and where it says security right under safe browsing you want to make sure that no protection is selected so once you've done that you can go back try download it again and it should allow the download if the download still gets blocked after disabling safe browsing then you need to check your antivirus software maybe check windows virus and threat protection which you can do by going to the search bar searching for virus and threat protection like so and just make sure that it's either disabled while you download valex or you exclude valex so mine's completely disabled right now so i'm not even using it and yeah we've just downloaded valex so head over to your downloads folder and drag this to wherever you keep your roblox executors i like to keep mine on my desktop and we're going to extract this so you don't need to use winrar or anything like that if you're on windows 10 or 11 you should see something called extract all click on that click extract and this will give us the actual folder with Valex inside. Now remember, if any type of files get deleted or removed or you know anything suspicious happens, it doesn't launch, it has any kind of errors, make sure that it's allowed through your firewall and make sure you have no antivirus programs blocking this. A lot of antivirus programs, pretty much all of them, will attempt to block any kind of Roblox script executor from launching. So make sure you have no blocks going on. So it's very simple, double click Valex executor, double click the Valex EX it's going to load up with this little key system page right here click on open link it's going to give you a link to the discord a link to the key website and a link to actually buy the keys as well which i don't recommend you know you can do if you want but i don't recommend buying these keys it's not really worth it if you're going to buy an executor you might as well get something like potassium which is a one-time purchase you can buy that on rsware.store by the way a showcase for potassium will be coming out very soon so i'm going to do this key system real quick there's three checkpoints, not too bad. Okay, I've just finished generating the key, three checkpoints, like I said, not too bad. We're gonna paste the key in and let's get active with Valex right now. So here we go. I do like the UI, I can't lie, I do like the UI of Valex. It is okay, very smooth. So the first thing we're going to do is run a quick SUNC test. Let's see if the injection works first time for Valex. It says it may take up to 30 seconds. Okay, this is interesting. I think they might be using the same injection that Bunny is actually using. That's kind of crazy because they literally have the exact same 30 second wait. That's kind of wild. So apparently we've injected now. So let's click run. Let's execute the SUNC test. Let's go to settings. Is this even going to run? I'm not sure if this is. Let's try execute the script again. Can we execute the script? I don't know. It says we're injected. Let me try run infinite yield because I'm not sure what's going on right now. Okay, Valex is still not working. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to relaunch Roblox and I'm going to relaunch Valex. Okay, so this is infinite yield. I've just clicked run. Okay, it seems that we it's actually working this time, guys. So I'm actually going to proceed with the test now. I was panicking for a split second there thinking that Valex was going to bug out and it wasn't going to work. But no worries, we're able to execute the SUNC test right now. Let's open up the console. If it doesn't crash, it should be running at this very moment in time. There we go. So let's skip to the end of this. All right, Valex crashed while running the SUNC test. So I'm not too sure about the status of Valex right now. The last thing I'm going to do is I'm going to join Restaurant Tycoon 
free and I'm going to try and execute a simple paid hub. Okay, so we're injecting into Restaurant Tycoon free and I am going to attempt to execute Ziki Hub, which is a paid script hub that has support for this game. It uses Lua more, so we'll see if it actually works. Okay, it appears to be able to execute a paid script that uses Lua or more. Okay, it's not crashed. Nice, nice, nice. Now let's see if it actually functions correctly because it's one thing actually popping up with a UI, but it's another thing actually functioning correctly. So let's see if every if it's gonna automatically cook the food. Is it gonna automatically cook the food and take orders? It looks like it might be doing just that. Okay, there we go. Everything works fine. So this does work okay. Valex isn't the best in terms of stability. Obviously we crashed while using the SUNC test. Let me know what you think in the comment section below if you've been using Valex or if this is your first time. Let me know how it goes after the first few injections. So yeah, that's about it from me. Comment down below what you guys want to see next. It's almost November, so I'll be redoing all of my video guides again. I'll be redoing them every single month for every single executor and external that I can get my hands on. So next month in November, we're going to be covering a lot of paid executors. Now we've got some of the free ones out of the way. I will be covering Zenith, Wave, Potassium, Celiware, and anything else that I can get my hands on. So that's about it for me, guys. Subscribe if you haven't already. Turn on notifications. Leave a like if this video helped you out. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Don't forget to join my Discord. Link in the description. Peace.